Hi, it's Tuesday, November 3rd, 2015. Today marks a new period for me. Uh, I've taken three weeks off from running. It was a great three weeks. I'm happy that I did it. My last run was in Kona, Hawaii, um, day after Ironman World Championships. It was a hot, great run with friends. Um, today's going to be a struggle. There's no doubt about it. It's been three weeks since my my entire body, my legs have done any kind of work like that. And uh, 30 minutes is going to feel like uh, eight miles. But uh, it's the start of being unfit, which is a good thing. Um, I like to be unfit sometimes. And uh, it's the start of something new. So anyway, uh, First run in three weeks. Second thing is that it's the first run in the Triumph ISO 2. In doing the photography yesterday, I noticed one thing about the Triumph ISO 2 that I want to show you. Um, the shoe's a lot much stiffer than uh, the Triumph ISO. And they either did that on purpose, they wrote it in the brief, which I doubt, or there's some construction in the shoe that's making it stiff. And one of two things will will play out as I run in it. First is um, the construction will loosen up. In other words, glue will loosen up and the shoe will become a lot more supple uh, and flexible or the shoe will stay stiff. But right now, coming out of the box, it's really stiff. See that? Uh, not much flex in it at all. One thing that I always do when I uh, wear test new shoes is I go sockless. And the reason for that is to test the internal environment. That's the first reason. And the second is to determine which sock is best for the shoe. Um, I have a, a drawer full of socks and every shoe fits differently, specifically my skinny um, foot. If you were to, if I were to go to a, a a dress shoe store and have them size me up, it would be an eight and a half B, which is quite narrow. Um, so finding shoes that fit me really well is difficult. So I use socks to adjust it. But to start off, I go barefoot just to test the internal environment and then work my way to the best sock for this shoe. And, and that's what I'll run in the rest of the time. Um, I have had shoes where barefoot was the best and I just stuck with barefoot. Okay, that wasn't pretty, but uh, for a first run, I'll take it. Uh, my arms were flailing all over the place, but uh, that's what I expected. Um, hopefully my legs don't feel it later this afternoon or tomorrow, and I'll be able to do it again. Uh, a little bit report on the shoe. I seem to be getting, uh, I got kind of a hot spot here on my right foot. Uh, let's see, let's take a look and see what it was. Oh, got it. Then my right foot is my uh, skinnier foot. And if you look down, there is a bunch of mess of fabric slash stitching. A whole mess of stuff right there uh, that caused the uh, irritation. Nothing that socks won't fix. Uh, but at least I know now I know where the hot spots are going to be, and um, maybe not even a thin sock will will take away that bunch of mess. Uh, maybe it'll be maybe I'll need a thicker sock. Don't know. Uh, but let's check out. Let's see what happened in the flexibility standpoint. I'm going to take my shoe off here. Come back to the shoe here. Let's take a look. Oh, it's still stiff. Uh, one thing I noticed that so the original Triumph ISO uh, was just like butter. I mean, you put it on your foot. First run was like, wow, what is this? But as I said in the previous video, um, there's a there's a a cost to that. That wow factor at the start couldn't end up being $150 spent for three months of running, and maybe that's probably not the best value in a running shoe. 
So the fact that this wasn't wow and it's kind of firm starting off and it actually slapped the ground as I ran um, leads me to, to believe that it uh, all the construction pieces in it are causing it to be stiff and I'm pretty confident it's going to work its way out after a good five or six seven runs it'll work itself out to feel much like that uh, Triumph the original Triumph ISO did on the first run so anyway, that's just what I believe right now. We'll see how that plays out. Um, and it, you know, hopefully it plays out correctly for Saucony's sake and for all you um, out there running in this shoe. Hopefully that plays out as well. It is a beautiful day here in Southern California. Um, November, still running in shorts and a t-shirt. Gotta love that.